Hey everybody, welcome to Pueblo de Coco, otherwise known as the Village of Coco. This is a home movie theater that's 4K, ultra high definition equipped with Macintosh audio, seating for 12. It was inspired by Disney and Pixar Animation's Academy Award winning feature movie called Coco. Coco is the story of a Hispanic youth's search for the truth about his own family history and also his heritage. It's set during the Hispanic holiday known as Dias de los Muertos, or the Day of the Dead. And it's the Day of the Dead that I wanted to try to capture in this home theater theme. Now, I personally believe that every home theater needs to have a theme. If all you have is just a projector hanging on the ceiling and a screen with some seats, uh, that's a boring place to hang out and watch a movie. All of my home theaters that I've built over the years, I've wanted to try to capture some element uh, that would make it an immersive experience. So what we tried to recapture here uh, in Pueblo de Coco was to build a small Hispanic village complete with 3D facades of buildings that would make up the uh, town square of a small uh, Hispanic village. So Pueblo de Coco, let's take a look around, shall we? And, and hey, by the way, say hello to my friends over here. At the heart of any home theater is the equipment rack. How else do you make all the noise, get all the beautiful video, and do all those things? And at Pueblo de Coco, we feature some of the, the world's most state-of-the-art equipment. Let's take a look, shall we? I've got it built in here behind this heavy iron door. Uh, and you'll notice right off the bat that there's a, a, a lot of great Macintosh equipment. Uh, first of all, if you take a look at this rack, uh, it's, uh, it's fed by a Macintosh MX170 AV video processor. Top of the line stuff from Macintosh. I'm using a Macintosh MC303 to drive the main three channels, the front left, the front center, and the front right. And then I'm using two of their new MI254 four-channel amplifiers to drive all of the different uh, Dolby Atmos surround speakers. You know, you have a total of 11 speakers installed here uh, in, in Pueblo de Coco. Uh, we're using Martin Logan for the uh, speakers. They have a new series that was released last year. Uh, and, and these are the Monument X7s in every position that's on the ground. And then I'm using the monuments up in the ceiling. Uh, they're Sistine uh, uh, speaker for the four Dolby Height tops. Uh, and so all told, you know, you have uh, two subwoofers. We're using JL subs up front and in the back, uh, the four Dolby Height speakers, front, left, center, right, and then the two side surrounds, two rear surrounds. So four, eight, 9, 10, 11, throw in a couple subwoofers, all driven by this beautiful Macintosh uh, audio rack. Uh, to keep the power clean, uh, definitely want to have clean power in a, in a home movie theater. We've got the Macintosh MPC 1500 power controller uh, with an isolation transformer that weighs uh, about 70 pounds, uh, and that keeps the power clean throughout the rack. In the back of Pueblo de Coco, you'll find the La Capilla. It's Rose's Chapel. You'll see that the building has main doors that enter into the church, and the uh, main doors are actually a Murphy bed. So this is, a, this is still a functional guest house, and while you have seating for 12, you still have to be able to accommodate guests, and really predominantly for me that meant my uh, older brother in San Francisco, who's a cartoonist, 
uh, and always a kid at heart, or my daughter Rose, who's seven, and all of her sleepover guests. We have 12 chairs in this movie theater. A nice benefit uh, of having a brother who's a cartoonist in San Francisco is that I can get some custom art made. And so here's the sign for the La Capilla. Uh, and that uh, young lady in the yellow dress standing next to Miguel is uh, actually my daughter, Rose. Next to La Capilla, we have Rosa's Cantina. Rosa's Cantina, of course, is where everyone in the village of Coco goes to have a bite to eat. Here we have the banyo. Here's the El Cine, or the movie theater. And what little village wouldn't be complete without a hotel or a La Posada?
Yeah. <laughs>